Not bad. It, yeah. it was warm, but not incredibly hot like it can be this time right, of right. year. It was last week, but we've actually had a little bit of rain the past couple of days. Hasn't amounted uh, to a whole lot, but just a few hit or miss showers. And right now, things have quieted down. And as expected, after the sun has set, these showers died down. But you can see they moved up right up from southeastern parts of our area into the Dallas County area. Had that little shower roll right over downtown Dallas and up toward Farmer's Branch before falling apart. And now we're going to be looking at a quiet overnight for us as well. Tomorrow, temperatures will start in the lower 70s and then we'll warm up with plenty of sunshine to about 92. Notice there are no rain chances for tomorrow. I don't expect to see any showers on the radar for Thursday, Friday or Saturday. It's only until we get to Sunday we might see a couple of showers pop back up on the radar. Now, one of the things you may have noticed today, when you looked on the horizon especially, is that we had quite a bit of haze, or the sky wasn't as blue as it was yesterday. The reason for that today, Saharan dust. Now, this happens every now and then from the Sahara Desert in Africa. The winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere blow this dust in from east to west. And you can see that dust is thickest in southeast Texas and Louisiana. You can see the darker shades of brown. As we put this into motion and take a look at the forecast going through the rest of the week, we'll still have some of that dust in the sky tomorrow and Friday. I actually think over the weekend it may get even thicker. So for the next several days, we won't have true blue skies. It will be this dust in the atmosphere that actually helps to limit the amount of rain that can develop. So that's one of many reasons why tomorrow I'm not expecting any rain in the forecast. 72 in the morning, it's 92 tomorrow afternoon. As we get into Friday, it heats up even more, about 94 for a high on Friday. Saturday, 95. So it's certainly going to be hot as we make our way through this upcoming weekend. Now, next week, as we get into the holiday week, 4th of July being next Thursday, Sunday we'll begin to see a few showers pop back up as moisture returns to the atmosphere. Th this moisture will be just enough for about a 20% chance of rain Sunday, Monday, and again on Tuesday, so nothing widespread. Unfortunately, as we take a look at the seven-day forecast, we could be getting back into a wet pattern by the middle of next week which may mean rain for next Thursday, which is the 4th of July. Right now, the best chance of rain is on Wednesday, and that means highs will be a bit cooler in the upper 80s. Until then, high temperatures should be in the 90s for the next several days, lows in the 70s, no rain tomorrow, Friday or Saturday, and just a small chance of rain returning on Sunday.